gotta juke them and pook them. I gotta juke them and pook them. I'm not juking and pooking very well because he's gonna get me. If I run him around in circles, he won't get me. Stop it, mate. Okay, we outsmarted them. Annabelle, look out. We gotta outsmart everybody. Bunch of wild cattle. Bunch of wild cattle is what we got. We're doing NASCAR circles out here today. And that's gonna work. It worked. It sure as heck worked for us. So I'm going out here. I'm gonna choose this second spot in the hog rooting for the hay. I don't think that the hay will get that wet. And if it does, it'll be on the bottom. And at that point, it'll be no good anyway. So we'll bring them up here by the pond. They can get a drink whenever they want. This one, the boat, option B. Put the forks up like that for a minute so we don't end up getting nobody look out annabelle there's a monster i told you to look out baby i don't know why he does this why do you do this why do you do this move hey hey calm down calm down it's okay you don't gotta whack it you don't gotta whack it move hey my sweet babies you're wild you know that don't do it while i'm up here if you do it while I'm up here, I'm really going to be hurt, Moo. Not just my feelings, neither. I'm, I'm literally going to be hurt. Moo. Moo. Moo, you're going to flip me over. Please don't do that. It's not a fun game when I'm up here. Why are you running off Annabelle? She didn't do nothing. Huh? I think he knows that I'm up here, so he's not going to flip it over. I think I've ruined his fun. I bet you if I get off, he will. All right, move. I'm out of the way. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what you're going to do. No? Well, that's a good boy. Rip's like, you know what? I'm not even dealing dealing with this mess. I'm getting out of here. There's no point in trying to deal with Moo. He's a big, angry guy. <laughs> that is a whole lot of power, though. Seriously, being able to just take a hay bale... And just flip it like that. All right, let me try. Let me try, Moo. <laughs> Moo, help. I can almost get it. Hold on, Moo. I can do this. <sighs> no, I can't. I can't. He's so strong. He really is. So very strong. Annabelle's going to try. She's just a little baby. I want to go check on Rip because... He has went off into the bushes. Why is Rip? He's hiding in the bushes. Look at him. Rip. What are you doing? He's out of here. <laughs> Why is he hiding in the bushes for? Who knows? He's a wild man. He really is a wild man. I'm going to run over here. I want to see what he's doing up in there. That's really weird behavior. Rip. What are you doing in the bushes? Oh, look, a rabbit. Hey, Rip is a rabbit cow. Rip is a rabbit hunting cow. Rip, how'd you do that? You found a rabbit in there. That was awesome. What else is in here? Why are you in here anyway? <laughs> what a crazy cow. What a crazy cow. Why is he making trails through the woods like this? All right, Almond Joy. Thank you for being my new hunting companion. A rabbit cow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that a cow or a bull could go sniff out rabbits and run them, and run them out of their hiding places? How smart. So now, not only do we have what I believe is the world's largest cow, the world's most beautiful cow, but now we have the one and only rabbit hunting bull. <laughs> How cool! Bye, guys. Have a great day. And ended up in this area um, that 
we're looking at now. Ultimately, we want a little bit of no. There's the older traditional thinking of we don't make mistakes and we don't talk about mistakes, or there's the transparency side where How we show get in mistakes, there we show that we're human, and we show that things don't always go the way that we wanted them with all the There's a certain level of discomfort, to say the least, going back and talking to the victim's family. Go! Go! Get! Go! Get back! Go! 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 Go out! Go out! Go! Get! Get! Go! Get! Get! Go! Go! You're not going this way! You're not going this way! Go! 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 Brianne, who came out here? Nobody. Well, somebody, the gate's just wide open. Go. Moses, go. So yesterday, uh, we had a slight problem. I'm going to call it a slight problem because, well, I kind of fixed what went wrong. Good thing Lissa was watching out because without her, we might have had an even bigger problem. Uh, Bree come out and help me, but, you know, in the end... Sometimes you got to put down your phone and just do what has to be done. Sometimes you can't do it one-handed. Sometimes you need both of these bad boys. So uh, let me show y'all what happened. And then I'll show you what we're doing today to fix that for real. So I want to show y'all what happened. What happened is Rip and Moses got to fighting and hitting over here on the skate. Moses, give me a moment here. I'm trying to make this video real quick. They got to fighting right here, and the more they pushed and pushed and pushed on this gate, they pushed it so hard that it loosened up the hinge, and it spun this around just like that. You see, now there's no way for it to shut. So what I had to do is come back out here, hit this over. I've been trying to tighten this thing up as tight as I could get it, but it will not go tight enough to like clamp down on there enough. So once I shut this, all I do is wrap this chain all the way around and clip it around both sides. So now there's no way that it can come open. It's clipped. It's hooked in here too. And then it stops them from being able to open this gate up whenever they're fighting. All right, we got our first strand pulled along here and then whenever we get down to the insulators we're gonna go under this little hook if I can do it under this little hook over this little hook make sure it's pulled nice and tight loop it around and keep on going we just got to go all the way around this entire place I'm not worried about covering up the gate right now but uh, I will show you there is a way to fix that gate and I'll explain that later in the video all right, so you see this line here. I'm just playing, it's not on. <laughs> so this, the electric fence is finished. And it goes all the way down, all the way down, and then it stops here at the gate, right? It's going to stop at the gate. I have it running up. I have it running up here, and then it comes around, and it connects to the charger. So if I can put my hand up there, I can show you what the charger looks like. I do need a stool in order to reach it. But the on button, the on button is right here, okay? I'm not going to turn it on because I don't need it on right now, but it has to sit out here in the sun and charge for three whole days. And that's fine because tomorrow my ground rods will be here. And so the ground rods... I had to order them online because Tractor Supply didn't have them. Neither one, not Porter or Cleveland, did not have ground rods. Uh, let's see, Harbor Freight did not have ground rods. Home Depot did not have ground rods. So I don't know, maybe there's like a worldwide shortage on ground rods. But you know who did have them? Amazon. <laughs> so I have the clips for the ground rods. I have the insulated wire, the ground wire. So what I have to do now is I have to put in an 8 foot ground rod here I have to come over 10 feet put a ground rod here and I have to come over another 10 feet and put another ground rod here and then I have to run that wire between all three ground rods 
and then up to this green knob on the fence and that's for the ground okay that just unscrews you put the ground in there and you're good to go then i got to come back i have to insulate this wire that runs up the post insulate it over to there all the way to where it connects into the box okay later down the line i will get one of the hooks they go right here that you can run across the gate and then continue to take the fence all the way down. For now, it's not going to be an issue because we're getting started on our next project, which you'll see in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great day.